So this tutorial will help you to create your file and folder structure. You can use this tutorial for unit two and you can also use it for unit four. So I've got both mark grids open at the top there. If you're using it for unit two, it will get you four marks in the organizing folders section. So store file, use of folders, use of subfolders in their files and sensible naming of files and folders. At unit four, you get slightly less marks for it as you've already been credit, credited for it in unit two. However, you still do get two marks from the efficient work and practice section, and you get one mark for store using folders and subfolders and files, and a second mark for sensible naming of files and folders. So if you minimize everything on your desktop so that you can just see your desktop background, on your desktop, you should have a link for your documents or your My Documents folder. I'm going to use the Recycle Bin to go into mine because I just need to use any of these ways to get into my files and folders to start off with. So if I click on the Recycle Bin, I then need to make sure that I click this PC on the left-hand side. Once I've clicked this PC on the left-hand side, and you guys might get it in a slightly smaller window like this, so you may need to scroll down to be able to see your network locations, okay? So either expand the window so you can see everything or scroll down to your network locations. Now you should have your home drive there rather than your name drive. And you'll know that you're on the right drive because it'll be the end drive here. So if you double click on your home drive, network locations, you'll then be taken to your My Documents. And then when you're in your My Documents, you need to create a folder if you don't have one already for GCSE ICT. I'm going to change to uppercase there. All right, it appears that I've already got one. So let's go and find that. But you can create one by using the new folder button there. If when you go to your My Documents, you don't have that menu available, if you go to the little question mark at the end there and then right next to it click the little expand the ribbon button it's like a little, very small v it will then give you this ribbon here and to make the new folders you need to be in the home tab okay so somewhere i've got a gcse ict folder where are you there it is okay so once you have created your gcse ict folder if you double click in there or to go into there, you need to make then another new folder and either call it unit two or unit four, depending on which unit you're doing. If you already have one, then at this point, open up a Word document, add the heading, folder structure, You want to you can put that in the center make it slightly larger bold underlined and all of the rest of it just to format it appropriately and then you need to take a picture of the unit 2 or the unit 4 folder that you either have or you just created depending on what which unit you're completing so I'm just going to go with unit 2 for the purpose of this video and take your print screen and if you go to your Word document and paste that onto your Word document, you can then annotate under your uh, print screen to say, I have created a Unit 2 or a Unit 4 folder to keep the work for my project organised. And then if you go back to your folder structure, if you're doing Unit 2, go into the folder. Let me just delete some of these new folders I've made previously. Um, and you would do the same if you were working on Unit 4, go into the Unit 4 folder. And then you need to make some subfolders to organise your work into the relevant sections. So if you're working on Unit 2, if you just scroll down here to this box here where you get your overall marks, obviously we're not having a folder called Total out of 80, but we're going to have a subfolder for all of the other sections. So one for organisation, one for research and design, one for email, one for communicating information, one for modelling, one for information handling, and one for evaluation. So that's seven subfolders in total. If you are working on Unit 4, again, scroll down to the bottom section here, and you're going to have 
again, you won't have a folder for total out of 80. You have a folder for working practice, research and analysis, design, template and navigation, images, animation, sound, additional features and evaluation. So that's eight subfolders if you're working on unit four. So I'm just going to continue working on unit two for now. And I'm going to go back to my folder structure there. I've already previously made one for emails. That's one of my seven. So then I'm going to make another new folder and call it organization. And then I'm going to make another new folder and I'm going to call it uh, communicated information. I'm going to repeat this process until I've got a folder or seven subfolders all named after my sections here. Remember, we don't include total out of 80. Once I've done that, I'm going to, I like to highlight them all. So I hold on the control button and click and I would highlight all seven of those folders. You don't have to. I just like to highlight them to make them stand out. Take a print screen, go to your Word document, enter down under your last annotation, paste your next print screen and annotate to explain that you have made either seven subfolders if you're working on unit two or eight subfolders if you're working on unit four to organize your work into the relevant sections. So that's your second print screen. So the next thing you need to do is you need to save this document. So if you click file and save as and this PC, then remember you need to select this PC on the left hand side and then scroll down until you find the network locations and your home drive, which is your M drive. Then find the GCSE ICT folder that you've made and the unit two or the unit four folder that you've made. Um, in my case, I'm going into unit two. Go into the organization folder if you're working on unit two. If you're working on unit four, you need to go into the working practice folder, okay? And then your document should automatically be called folder structure because you created a document title. Press save, and that will save a copy of your folder structure document either into your organization uh, or your organization uh, organize folders folder if you're working on unit two or your working practice folder if you're working on unit four. Then go back into your folder structure, go into the organization folder or the working practice folder if you're on unit four. And then you should see that document now saved. Click on that once so that it's highlighted. Take a print screen, go back to your document, paste that print screen and then annotate that print screen to explain that you've saved an appropriately named document into the relevant subfolder and then once you've annotated to say that you can just press the little save disk here to update those changes or you can do file and save there and that will add that extra print screen to your saved version of the document and then you are done if you are on unit two that will give you the first four marks and if you're on unit four that will give you the first two marks